Hey everyone, Strange Michael, I hope you're doing well today. I have another movie review for you for this week. Um, I usually only do about two a week, and then every once in a while I have weeks where I just do more than one. And this is a great example of a week that I just had more free time because of the whole COVID thing last week. I had some free time to watch some other stuff. And uh, the other night my wife wanted to go take a bath, so I sat downstairs and I watched a movie pretty much all the way through. She took a long bath. Anyway, this is Hall, a 2020 horror film that uh, sounded very, very interesting and kind of fell apart halfway through, frankly. Um, what is Hall about? Basically, a mother, father, and daughter are going to a hotel to get away because basically there's some kind of virus going around. Of course, this is the time of the beginning of COVID, so that's a little uh, interesting. I'm curious how much more this was made before this, um, before this pandemic situation, whatever. Anyway, there's a virus going around that's kind of like the flu, and it's basically killing people. Pretty harsh flu, too. Uh, hallucinations are happening, apparently, and all kinds of stuff. And uh, people are kind of getting away from their neighborhoods and towns and stuff to get away from the possibility of catching this thing, because it's pretty much a guarantee if you get it, you're going to die, apparently, according to the rumors and the news and so on and so on. And uh, this three-person family moves into this hotel room, and they stay in there. And it turns out the dad is kind of abusive. He's a very mean-spirited fellow, but not like... He's mean-spirited, and you don't entirely know if he's, like, hitting the mom and daughter. So that's a little bit of a kind of personal mystery that they don't really let the audience in on for a while. Um, that's pretty interesting stuff. The dad's actor is phenomenal, fantastic, loved him here. The mom's actress, she's fantastic here. Even the kid, the daughter, her actress was great. Everybody was bringing a really solid A-game here. And um, there's also an another young woman in here, I believe she, I don't know what she is, she's Asian. Uh, I was going to say I want to know what she is, but I don't think I know. Uh, anyway, her name is Naomi. And uh, she's a pregnant young woman who just ran away from her abusive husband in whatever country she came from. And she's hiding out in the hotel as well. Um, and none of these people act truly scared. They're just kind of taking this as a chance to kind of get away a little bit. And it seems like the mother and Naomi, as soon as they start kind of running into each other and having conversations about their children and stuff, a lot of the time they start to realize that their uh, personal life situations are very much kind of the same, apparently. So there's a little bit of a personal tension amongst the characters here. But one thing that's happening throughout this movie is that we keep cutting back and forth between the current drama and the film even starts off with this other thing going on about Naomi um, laying on the floor in the middle of the hall who, she looks like she's dying. She's choking, she's gasping, she can't breathe perfectly well. And we cut back and forth between the personal life problems between the three people and that one family, Naomi doing her own thing in her own hotel room, and then we eventually make our way back to this area of where Naomi is in the hallway gasping and crying and trying to crawl up the hallway and stuff. And the film holds me for a long time wondering what's going to happen with that. Uh, and I'll tell you, the first half of this movie really held up for me. I was really invested. Honestly, I was super engaged, really enjoyed most of this flick. And about halfway through, they kind of just stop and explain what was happening with something. And I was like, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> what kind of screenplay writer decided to pull that? Um, it was not a good twist. And then as the film progressed, more and more nonsensical things kept happening that made no sense. Uh, by the end of the movie, I was so confused on a couple of things. They, they weren't big stretches. I mean, I had my own theories on what they were, just like anybody who watches this movie will. But it really tore apart this movie. I was really invested. This was an above-average film that completely collapsed halfway through for me. Um, the virus stuff, I still don't understand the entire, and, and I guess you're supposed to kind of have this feeling of it too. You don't entirely understand what the virus is capable of, capable of. As a movie, you don't really know what the rules are based around that virus. If you catch it, how fast do you get sick? How, how long can you have it before you get sick? You kind of find out little things here and there, but you don't entirely understand the mental hitting of this thing. What does it do to you mentally? You don't entirely know. So there's a lot of things left up to guess by the end of the movie that were stupid, in my personal opinion. Now, when it comes to the film's direction, it's great. The acting, like I said, is fantastic. The, the actress playing Naomi is also fantastic. Really enjoyed pretty much everybody in the film. I think everybody brought a decent portrayal here. The virus thing was treated as a genuinely scary situation. It was kind of fun to watch those sequences. Um, there's some tension building in here. It's kind of a slow movie, I will tell you that. It's not an insult. There's just certain moments that are kind of slower than other parts of the movie. Um, I see a lot of people trashing the mom character for certain parts of this movie and per certain things that she does in the film. To me, I don't think there was a big complaint there. I could see like one or two instances where I'm like, ah, that's kind of dumb. But it's not even an hour and a half long movie. 
you know? Like, the movie flies by. It's like an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 15 minutes, something like that. It zoomed by. You didn't need super filler and stuff, you know? And it could have been a lot worse than what we got. Anyway, um, there are a couple of times where I kind of shook my head in that first half hour before thing, or the first hour of the movie, or first half of the movie, whatever that wasn't ruined, <laughs> you know? Um, it's just, it's not a perfect film, and it falls apart so heavily by the end of the movie that I was like, what in the world, <laughs> you know? Um, the last, like, five, ten minutes of this are just nonsense, my personal opinion. Uh, it, it just, it really, really fell apart. I would like to see a sequel to explain a couple of things, but I don't think you really need one if you have the kind of theories I'm having with this movie. Um, Hall was a big disappointment. I'm very let down by this. I didn't, I didn't know this movie existed. I don't think I knew anybody who reviewed it on YouTube. I'm kind of bummed out about it. It was really going nice for the first half. It looks good as a film. The camera works great. The directing's solid. The acting's great, like I said. But man, it falls apart. <laughs> Just, it's really quite a shame, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, when it comes to Hall, the 2020 film, have you guys seen this? What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? I guess you kind of consider this more of a drama or a thriller, but not really like a serial killer tra chasing somebody mystery type of thing. It's not really like that. It's just a family drama type of thing with some other characters scattered in there and a virus in the background and whatnot. Um, it has some tension that works, but a lot of it sucks, <laughs> frankly. And it, that's sad because I was really into this. Um, anyway, that really hurts my feelings more. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Put them down below, guys. Let me know what you think about the film in the comments section down below. Uh, since there are things that I like about the movie, and I liked half the movie, um, I can't give it, like, the bottom of the barrel rating. But for me, I was going to give it a lot higher of a rating, um, a much, much, much more positive rating, and I can't do that <laughs> with how it fell apart so heavily. Um, if I had to rate this on a five-star basis, I would give the film a two out of five stars. I hate to do it that low. I wanted to give it a three, but I just can't justify it. I genuinely cannot justify giving it that high of a rating just because of i mean it you don't realize <laughs> if you're if you watch this in a random space like i did just a random space of time you weren't looking forward to this you just found it and watched it on tubi or whatever if you were as invested as i was and it fell apart the way it did for you you can't tell me it doesn't deserve a sharper lower more cynical rating in my personal opinion it, it just it completely crushed me how bad it fell apart because i was looking forward to this i was rooting for this movie i was rooting for the characters um yeah but anyway what are your thoughts put them down below guys thank you for watching two out of five stars from me for hall the 2020 film and uh thank you for watching god bless you goodbye